Welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at the Crate Club Spring Box. This is the general box and you can see it's just absolutely gigantic. So I can't wait to get in here. So let's check it out. So just based on my camera setup, there's no way I can get this whole box in the frame here. So I'm just gonna put it off to the side and open it up. And yes, like I said, this is the Crate Club General Box. I like to call this the cheat sheet because it has everything in there. But I'm gonna go over this at the very end of the video. So let me just grab whatever's on top. This bad boy right here, the Bushnell H2O Waterproof Binoculars. So this is actually pretty cool. I'm moving into a new house in a few months and have a lot more land than I have now. So I've been wanting a new pair of binoculars, um, but I'm not an expert of binoculars at all. But this one says it's waterproof IPX7, which means they're submersible in up to three feet of water for 30 minutes, fully multi-coated optics. This says protective rubber armor and aluminum alloy chassis. And these are the eight by 42 millimeter versions right here. All right, so what do we got here? Field of view, 390 feet or 130 meters. Uh, eye relief is 18 millimeters. The exit pupil is five millimeters. Weight is 27 ounces and length is six inches. So I'm gonna actually open this right now and check these out because this is really, really cool. Did I get that? There we go. All right, looks like it comes with a nice little carrying case here. Check that out, Velcro. Something on the inside here looks like just a neck strap and a microfiber cleaning cloth. That's awesome. Then a quick start guide right here, but let's take out the monoculars. Oh, very cool, man. All right, so kind of a, a navy blue color here. Wasn't expecting that, I was expecting all black. Like I said, I am not an expert at binoculars at all, but I did want to get a new pair. So these caps right here, okay, those are the rear caps. And I'm just gonna try them out really quick. So it's a little bit dark in this room, so it's probably not the best conditions to try out these binoculars, but I'm definitely gonna take these out a little bit later on and try these out. And I do like the fact that these are waterproof, not that I'm gonna submerge my binoculars anytime soon, but you know, for rain purposes, IPX7. Um, the dust rating is not tested, but submersible is always good. But I'm gonna put this off to the side and just gonna randomly grab the next item here. It looks like we have some ratchet straps. I have more ratchet straps than I know what to do with, but you can never really have enough in my opinion. That's a two pack, uh, working load is 500 pounds, breaking strength is 1500 pounds. Nice camo design on here, uh, rubberized S hooks from HME, nothing made, or hunt, sorry, <laughs> hunting made easy. Sorry about that. Just shows you where my brain is at right now. Nothing made easy, jeez. All right, um, nothing else really to go over here. Just a couple ratchet straps. Um, like I said, I have so many ratchet straps at the moment, but adding two more will not be a problem, trust me. And let's just go to the next item here. And this is an OST, Operator Survival Tool, Scrape All 223, 556, and 300 Black. So I'll give you guys a close up of this right here. I'm not 100% sure what this is here. I'll read off the back. It says the OST Scrape, all models are made from precision ground D2 steel, uh, laser cut for precision. They are designed for specific caliber bolts and should not be used on other caliber bolts. They scrape carbon from the back of the bolt neck, inside the bolt carrier, around the locking lugs, and around the firing pin. The scrape ball also has the ability to scrape the castle nut clean of debris. So this is a scrape ball tool for rifles. Uh, looks like you can hang it from your molly system if you have that. So this is really cool. I'm not gonna demonstrate this here. I'll keep it in the bag but let's move on. All right, next, and here we go. Now we're talking. So an SOG Aegis AT. So it's an automatic, oh, it's assisted opening folding knife. Outdoor, looks like it's a Tonto style blade there. So the Aegis AT, Cryo D2 steel, assisted open uh, with an XR lock, an ambidextrous spine mounted safety, durable textured GRN grip, and it has a reversible pocket clip, a uh, large lanyard loop. So let's take this out. Oh, very nice magnetic box here. So let's take 
this out. I'm just gonna cut the bottom here, I guess. Slice that right there. And, all right. Oh my goodness. Really packed in there, but all right. So I'll give you guys a nice close up of the Aegis AT. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Aegis or Aegis AT from SOG. So it has SOG's XR lock right here, which is a version of Benchmade's access lock here. And let's just check out Ooh, their assisted action here. This is nice. Very cool. And this has to be a lockout because it is assisted. So press that down, locks out, very cool. And this safety here is pretty strong. It takes a little bit of effort to unlock this thing, which is good just because it is an assisted knife and you don't want that coming open in your pocket. Um, I love Tonto blades. Actually, my Pro-Tech here, you can see the Pro-Tech I've been using to open up everything. Very, very similar blade style there. And I love the look of the black finish on this Cryo D2 steel here. It's a full flat grind. We have some jimping on the very edge of the spine there. Very nice positioning. And the shape of these handles here feel really nice in the hand when I'm holding it. it feels really comfortable. Backspacer right here, fully deep carry pocket clip right here. And yes, I already said it is reversible. And the colors here are really interesting. This two-tone green, this darker green here with this lighter green on the thumb studs, on the XR lock and on the safety, and even on the backspacer there that leads into the lanyard attachment. This is really cool. So I really do like this. I don't have many SOG knives, especially assisted opening. So this is very cool to pull out of this box, but put all this off to the side and let's pull out the next item here, which is the heck Bluetooth headset. It says with hearing protection and enhancement, uh, Bluetooth rechargeable. This is interesting. So the features are independent volume control, low noise frequency tuned for natural clarity, sound activation compression, uh, 0.02 second reaction time, nylon camo 20 and a half inch cable, uh, battery life is 15 hours, four hours Bluetooth streaming, high dynamic range speaker, rechargeable battery, uh, three pairs of foam tips, small, medium, and large, and a micro USB charging cable. The noise reduction rating is 30 decibels. So check these out. It looks like they're Bluetooth headphones, but if you're at the gun range or firing off your, your shotgun or your pistol, your rifle, whatever, it'll automatically reduce the noise up to 30 decibels. I'm guessing that's the maximum rating right there. So I absolutely wanna test these out. I can't test them out obviously right now, but this is something for me to do later on down the road and check out this automatic noise reduction for these headphones. This is awesome. And also I'm curious if any of you guys have any experience with these headsets right here. Let me know in the comments what you think, if these actually work well or they don't work well at all. I'm very curious about these, but let's move on. It looks like I have two more items here. Let me grab the smallest item. Looks like it's coffee. Black Rifle Coffee Company, JB, which means just black. These are coffee grounds, man. Black Rifle Coffee Company, medium roast, veteran owned. This is fantastic. I didn't really know that this company existed making coffee. Uh, roasted in the USA, a portion of our profits go to veteran law enforcement, fire, and first responder causes. That's awesome. So real quick, I live near Buffalo, New York, which is really close to Canada. And we have Tim Hortons here, which is a Canadian-based, I would guess you would say a fast food restaurant, but I think their coffee is fantastic. I was addicted to Tim Hortons. I kind of still am. So I went off and bought a Keurig with Tim Hortons K-Cups, and I lived off those for years but I just bought a Ninja coffee maker and it has a, uh, a tea maker and you can froth milk and everything with it. And it does have a spot for coffee grounds. So I've been kind of experimenting with tea and coffee grounds and all this other stuff. So I think this will fit right in with that because I've never heard of this company and I'm kind of curious to try their coffee. And this is America's coffee after all. So why not, right? So. Last item in the box here, and this is a big one. God, and this is a shotgun and rifle bag. And I still can't get most of it in the frame, but I'm just gonna open this and check this out anyways. So this is the bone dry shotgun and rifle bag featuring Absorbits, advanced moisture removal material. Stores and protects firearms from moisture, holds rifle or shotgun up to 54 inches, holds five magazines and plenty of ammo, rechargeable 
leave open in the sun. Uh, okay, padded bag for added protection. What do they mean by rechargeable? Okay, there's a little pocket right here. It says bone dry on it. And right here, some Velcro for your patches. And shoulder strap right here. Sorry guys, I know it's kind of hard to see this, but it's just so large. Let me open this up and find out what they mean by rechargeable. So opening this up here, some more Velcro to hold your rifles or shotgun. And this material is really interesting. This has to be the absorbance material. I'm guessing what they mean by rechargeable is you put your gun in here and this material absorbs the moisture and then you leave it in the sun open to recharge the bag, basically meaning evaporate the moisture from this absorbance material, which is really cool. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Carry store firearms inside bag for protection against moisture, 48 by 10 inches. Oh, learn more at bonedry.com. Oh, yep, right here it says, place firearm and ammunition inside the bag. Firearm and ammunition should be dry in six to 24 hours. So exactly, this bag absorbs the moisture on your firearms or magazine. And then you can open it up, dry it out. This is awesome. So overall, guys, I think this is a pretty good box. And let me just make sure I have everything here. So yep, there's the OST carbon scraper, the coffee, the HME uh, ratchet strap, the bone dry shotgun and rifle case. Right here is the Bushnell H2O 8x42 waterproof po Poro Prism binocular. Sorry, I'm trying to read this upside down. Here's the SOG Aegis AT Tonto Forest and Moss. Oh yeah, let me look at those green colors. So I guess that's what the forest and moss means right there. Those are the colors of green you got right there, the two-tone green. And then the Walker's Rope Hearing Enhancer right there. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for the spring box, April 2022 box. And I guess my favorite items so far are the SOG automatic right here and the binoculars wherever I put those and I am very very curious yes about the coffee but these Bluetooth headsets right here just to see how well this handles loud noises when you're listening to music at least I think you can listen to music on here it does say Bluetooth um, I don't know I'm gonna check them out all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What did you think of the spring 2022 general box from Cray Club? Now, if you want to check out Cray Club for yourself, but we'll put links down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!